Hi, welcome to Colleen's Diamond Painting. Um, I have made this video two times and I'm getting very tired. So tomorrow I will have a Diamond Dots for you. And um, right now I'm gonna open from Paint Gem, the Floral Edition and the National Parks Edition. This is also a pen that I got from O'Brien's Custom Turning came with a thank you note and a description. This is handmade uh, olive wood from Bethlehem. It has a point on the top, a single placer on the top and a single placer on the bottom. So I will be switching that out um, to a four placer, but there was a thank you note and uh, there was a regular pen which I'm going to give to my husband. And I'm sorry that um, you couldn't see me unbox it. Like I said, I'm having trouble with my camera today. So this is the National Parks Edition. And you know I like working on the little, um, little paintings from Paint Gem. And I had unbagged these, but for some reason, technical difficulties. So I don't know the name of the national parks, but I noticed that they are, that are included in this one, but I noticed that they are on the internet. So I will, um, when I do a uh, completion review, I will let you know um, what they are. And here are the colors. They're very vibrant. Um, they're not as vibrant as the flowers. But let me show you the, the pictures. Um, this is the arch. I believe that's in St. Louis. This is obviously a volcano park. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like mountains and snow. This is Arches Park. This is a park in Hawaii, and I don't know the name of it. This one has a lighthouse in it. We have a nice uh, sunrise or sunset with um, a, looks like a waterfall. I think this is Joshua National Park with the cactus. I'm not sure where this is. Um, I think this is um, at Yosemite, the the fountain that blows, Old Faithful. So let me put these away. Um, the symbols are all letters with three numbers. I'm really sorry you couldn't see the whole unboxings. I'm having trouble with my camera actually filming so I don't know what the problem is so let's take a look at the floral edition and I think I will show you the one thing that I got from diamond dots even though I'm not actually pulling it out of the box like for the O'Brien's custom turning just gonna see if I could find what they sent in it the little thank you card Okay, for O'Brien's Custom Turning, it did come in an Etsy box. Here's an example of the other pens that they have in store. A little card to say big thank you. And then a card that certifies that this is Bethlehem Olive uh, Wood. So I do think O'Brien's Custom Turning. And they have an Instagram page. So this is the floral edition. I do not, I am not any kind of green thumb. I have never had a garden unless I was really, sm oh, here, they're right on the back. So it looks like there's American Samoa, Arches, Volcanoes, Gateway Arch, Arcadia, Grand Canyon is the one with the sunset, Joshua Tree, Zion, Yellowstone, and Glacier Bay. So it's good that they put that on the back. If I had just turned that over, I would have been that much for the better here. But let's go through these really quick. 
Um, as you can see, it's a very vibrant color palette in this, in the flower edition. Oh, they do have a lotus. That's my favorite flower. I'm gonna have that to make that one for myself. So we have the violet. Let's see, this one looks like the daisy. This one looks like a white lily. This one looks like the sunflower. Uh, let's see. This one could be the pink peony. This is an iris. Here is a rose. This must be the lotus. This is the lavender. Um, not sure what this one is, or this one is, or this one is, but um, because I'm trying to go off this little print here. Uh, but I'll definitely uh, know the description of what I painted when I do the um, completion review. So I'm getting really tired and I'm gonna need a break, but um, I had this in my original um, video that I made and somehow my camera quit on me. So I'm gonna take it out and show it to you. It's a diamond dot and I'm really running out of room here in my craft room. So this one is called Christmas Collie. It's of a collie with some holly. Um, it is a 50.5 by 40.7 centimeters or 19.9 inches by 16 in inches. And it is a partial. And you'll see what I mean when I take this out. which I have already taken out before, but okay, have I got everything? Okay, I went over the kit, um, came with your standard kit, which is the tray, the pen, the wax. They gave me some good wax. Um, and a uh, squishy, all that good stuff. So as you can see, it is a partial, and the area that you would be painting is the collie with the holly collar. Um, there are snowflakes here in the background. There are sheep that are painted on, or drawn on, I should say. Um, I will take out the colors because there are some pretty ABs in this, and the rest are just the colors of Christmas and of the collie. But you have a white AB and a green AB. And let's look at some of the Christmas colors. We have pink, red, we have black, which is probably part of the dog, gray, a lighter gray, a red, some more grays, a peach, and a red. Um, now, I, I this wasn't the Diamond Dots painting I was expecting. I was expecting one called the King, which is a Labrador Retriever. And um, somehow it got delivered, but not to me. So if one of my neighbors has it, I would hope they would return it, but I haven't seen it yet. And Diamond Dots did say that they would replace it, so I'm just waiting for it to get here. And they also said that they would send me some glue uh, for a product I'll show you in a minute. So here's tan, brown, brown, black, brown, red, brown, green, and a darker green. So definitely all Christmas colors. So um, this will be my project for next Christmas. Um, this year I am focusing on Diamond Dots paintings, however, I have events and other paintings that I plan to do all the way up till April. So in April, I'm gonna have to start hauling butt and getting getting to work on my Diamond Dots paintings. 
So with the king painting that they were gonna send me, and who knows, it might be here somewhere. They were gonna send me some glue because I ordered this cute, oh no, someone put a prescription box on it and now it's sticking. And I would imagine that would be my husband. Now it's sticking to the sticky area. I can kill him when he gets home. Okay, this is not good. Anyway, this is a dog and cat painting. It's already framed. I could probably use a baby wet wipe for that. But as you can see, the diamonds are moving. They're not staying in place, so you can see the white underneath. So um, they're gonna send me some glue to put on the sticky parts and uh, fix that problem. So thank you, Diamond Dots. And definitely my husband is gonna get green for uh, putting a prescription box on um, a painting with the sticky side up. Uh, but I hope you join me tomorrow, um, which I will be doing some fan cells. And I hope you've enjoyed all my videos today. I'm trying to get caught up. Um, I do have a dog who has a broken leg. It's been ongoing. And um, he needs a leg amputation, which is, which is going to take place on the 26th. So there'll be some downtime for me um, around the 26th. Uh, because I will be needing to um, help him use the restroom uh, by using um, a towel around his waist to get him outside. Uh, but um, my goal right now is just to continue to get him to eat. So yes, I've even spoon fed him and it's working. So I'm happy. Have a good day. Comment down below, like, subscribe, share. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm sorry for all the technical difficulties. Have a great day. I'm gonna start painting on my mystery painting number 25. And there is a video down below that has shown my progress so far. If you don't wanna be, uh, <clears throat> if you don't wanna see the painting, don't watch that video. Bye guys.